All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Ready. Ready. What's going on, everyone? Incap24 here from Huddle.gg. And today is Thursday, which means it's the next update of the Route Combo Bible, in which we broke down cover three beaters and cover three match beaters with those seam flats. If you look through here, you're going to see all these cover three beaters that are concept based that you can go ahead and pluck into different types of formations. Some things work on specific formations, some things work on all formations. And you can see that these are all just concepts. Then we go to cover three match and show you seam flat beaters. Now this video right here, the seam flats 101, is probably the most extensive I've ever gone into seam flats. Tell you exactly how to basically um, beat them, how they work, how you basically are going to just dominate them and have them not be on the field. Now I go into a lot of different examples of different formations of how to make things work, as you can see here, and really just give you the key to have success that if anybody's calling cover three, um, match against you, they're basically going to be giving up big play after big play after big play. Now, what we're going to do for this video is we're going to talk about one of my favorites, and I'll just talk about going to this double short motion one right here, and we'll go ahead and get right into the video. So that play is called flanker dig, and that's something that we're going to go against cover three match. Now, before I talk about cover three match, it's not exactly the words that say cover three match, although that is. It's anything with seam flats because it's actually a coverage. So if I go over here and see overload three seam, that's a cover three match coverage. If you look at corner blitz, that is a cover three match coverage. If you go look at the cover three buzz match, again, it has those seam flats, cover three match coverage. I'll just toggle through these. You see safety strong, buck slant show two. All those are cover three match coverage. I'll pick the one that says cover three match because it has an extra zone in it and it's going to be a little bit harder to beat because typically the other ones are cover three blitzes and you're going against one less person. Let's look at flanker dig and I'm not going to go through the whys in respect to the huddle GG subscribers of how this works because when we go into a complete deep dive on the website, really explain the whys and how you can make this work against pretty much any um, type of formation that is, is suitable, right? We go over tons of formations in the game plan, but we also make sure that we, you know, basically teach you how to fish, right? And that's what that tutorial does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here, but I'm not gonna exactly explain why. So I'm gonna put the Y on a drag, I'm gonna move this X in, put them on a smart route, put the A on a streak, and we're good to go. Now there's a lot of things going on on this play, but the player that you wanna watch is this X receiver, as the X receiver is going to get open on the right-hand side with nobody covering him. Just gotta rack catch that and be able to get up the field and you're gonna get yourself a one place score. Now, these type of route combinations are specific to every formation that we have in the game plan, meaning the same route combination is not gonna work here, that it's gonna work in a different formation. Literally, everything's tailor-made um, to the alignment, to the formation, to every little detail and what routes you need to put on the field to have different players do different reactions. And it is a deep dive. I couldn't come here and say, hey, this is the formula, go ahead and run it. It's really about making sure that you understand, you know, what you're doing with each formation to make sure that it works. And that's what we've done. I'm gonna try this one more time here for you just to make sure that you see that it is consistent and that you notice that we're gonna be able just to go ahead and really just attack, you know, the players. Now the way match works, just wanna make sure you know, if a user who's supposed to um, cover one player and he decides that he's covering this player, that's gonna leave another player open. That's what's the great part about these designs are there, every player has a specific function and if they don't do the function they're supposed to and they say they cover that player, their original assignment for them to have to cover is open. And that's why you may say to yourself, hey, I would have covered that route. If you would have covered that, the player you would have covered him with was most likely going to leave another player open and it's gonna be an easy read that says, I'm either gonna go for the one place score here or I'm gonna hit the player that that guy's responsibility was. So just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of what we're doing on the back end with the Route Combo Bible. We've done the cover two, done cover two with soft squats. We've done cover three bombs. We've done cover three invert bombs. We've done cover three beaters and we've done cover three seam flat beaters, which is our the cover three match. 
We're going to continue with the Route Combo Bible, do Mabel coverages, hit cover fours, and just basically make this the best resource of Madden. Make sure you check it out. It's on our website. Just costs $9.95 for a full month access to it. Um, if you want to have it for longer, obviously just keep your subscription open. It's really not something that we have for sale. Um, it's something that we want to be a Huddle GG subscriber benefit only. So make sure that if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the website. Cancel at any time. As soon as you feel like you've got enough information, obviously we go ahead and we update you know, throughout each month. So you're always getting more information to be a better Madden player. But want to make sure that you understood what it was basically about. We appreciate you guys. I'm going to catch you on tomorrow's video.